so we created servlet mapping and uh, uh, get uh, root config classes okay so the next thing what we are going to discuss is uh, let's open the controller and to see what are the pages which we need okay so we need the pages emp page and employee form under the pages folder but before that see the web configuration to see the view resolver all my jsp files under webinf folder so in this case webinf and then my controller pages slash my page name okay so let's create a folder under the my web application like uh, webinf web iphone inf and under the webinf i need another folder called pages so, okay pages so under the pages i need to have a page called emp page that jsp because my application will only accept jsp file that is what i mentioned in the view resolver emp page and there is another page which we need uh, it's nothing but employee form just create that too okay employee form.jsp next and finish it okay again it's still if i'm writing the code here it, it's taking a little bit of time so for now i'm going to copy paste the code and i'll explain what is going to be uh, how it is looks like and what is the uh, purpose of each and every line okay okay i just copy pasted employee page and as well as employee form page okay so let's take a look at the employee page okay it's it's nothing but uh, in the employee page i have one hyperlink which will uh, call add method it's add is nothing but in my controller I have a method called this is the operation which is going to call same method so when I click the same method it is going to call this one and it will check whether the employee is existing if it is existing it will update the data or else it will do the insertion okay and then I created a simple table which has ID first name last name and email and list of employees this particular employee how let's have a question here okay how the list of employees will be referred here because in your web controller employee controller once you created the list of employees you added your list of employees into your model and view object so m model and view is nothing but it's a front end controller so if you put that if you put it into employee uh, model and view controller it will be visible to the all the jsp view pages okay so from there i uh, for this data I verified a very I'm 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 created a variable called employee so I can refer all the values from employee, okay. So then there is the same way there is another table another uh, JSP file which we can use it for save operation like uh, you can provide the first name last name and email IDs and you can do the submit and it will insert the data, okay. And I use the uh, prefix spring here that ELDs tag libraries and uh, for form I can use the prefix as form okay so everything is done so what else is missing okay so I have a pages I have a web, web control I have a controller I have a backend application implementations what else is missing so where is the database information okay so when I talk about web configuration so we are taking it is nothing but Java compiler your environment it's nothing but your Tomcat environment okay so JDBC Spring M. This is the reference lookup name. Okay, what you have to do is go to server. Under the server, you have a server.xml. Open the server.xml, and here you need to put this content. Okay, so this content is nothing but dog base. It's nothing but which WAR file you are going to find because this configuration has to be pointed to which jar file, WAR file. Okay, and the path, and also this is the main important thing is my database details actually my username password and other informations and here you see under the resource we have jdbc and slash spring mvc which is nothing but uh, so spring mvc okay this will be referred inside our web configure okay this is kind of a lookup name okay so everything is done so I this code this will be available now in, in my github you can take it from there okay so everything is set up what else i need to do the 
project setup is done now what you need to do is you need to run the maven command okay to create the war file okay let's go to this application path where is this application so this is my application okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run as some I an install so it will create a war file so the build is started build failure and to check what is the build error okay secret sometimes uh, sometimes I won't prefer in Eclipse so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and prompt and run it from there okay so MVN install mvn install so it will, it will do the job ok the build is success so the the location where the war file has been created ok so the target is you need to find it somewhere here ok where is okay here so this is a place where the war has been built okay and this is the path which we need to provide in the your server because you mentioned this is the war file which I'm going to point it to this configuration okay so that is done now what we are going to do is I'm going to run this application okay let me start my server I'm going to start the server so all the core stuff is done in the next video we'll discuss how we are going to run this application okay just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any questions i hope you guys enjoy the video and please do subscribe my channel thank you